Welcome back to the channel guys. The other day I was asked a question and that was can you play Roblox in VR wirelessly without paying for virtual desktop? And less than a week later the answer is yes, absolutely yes you can. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you how to play Roblox VR with no wires without the need to buy virtual desktop. So kick back, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's do this. Quick disclaimer guys, I would always recommend using virtual desktop for this, as it's much more of a solid program, however if you don't want to pay for it, then this is the tutorial for you. Now bear in mind that the results will be smoother if you have a 5GHz router and a fast internal network speed, so if it runs badly, that's probably why. Anyway, if you're happy to continue, let's go. So lads, this method takes advantage of free open source software known as ALVR. It does require a USB 2.0 cable for the initial setup, but you can use a charging cable that came in the box with the Quest or the Quest 2, and you'll only need it to set it up once. Now, ALVR is very similar to Virtual Desktop in that it allows you to stream your VR games wirelessly to your Oculus Quest using Steam VR. So you will still need a VR ready PC or laptop to do this, and no, nope, stop asking me if Max will work. They will not work, okay? Cool. So before we get into this method, you must first have the Oculus VR app installed. You can find that down in the description. You must have Steam installed along with Steam VR and the Roblox player. Also make sure that you have SideQuest installed and your Oculus Quest device is ready for side loading. If you don't know how to do this, then click the card above for a quick tutorial that will show you how you can do this. But if you already know, then let's get on to the main steps. So guys, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to the link in the description and copy the link that leads to here. This is gonna take you to the ALVR version 15.1.2. This will take you to the most recent version. So whenever you go here, if it's been an update, it will take you there. So what you can do first then is you want to download these three files. So you're going to download the Oculus Quest APK, the ALVR installer, and the ALVR server windows. Let's do that now. You just click on them, they will install. What you're going to want to do is go to the ALVR installer, and you want to click on that and install that on your PC. Let's go through the installation as normal. There we are. Once that's done, you can launch that or not. We don't really need it open yet, so we're just going to close that down. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to SideQuest. You want to plug your headset into your PC. Like I said earlier, you can use any USB 2.0 cable, including the one that comes in the box. You're going to want to go back to where your files are downloaded and you want to go to the APK and you want to drag that into your side quest and then drag that to the top left hand corner and this is drop files here. Once that's dropped you'll see this down the bottom, bang all tasks complete. So what that basically means is we've installed the APK on the headset and we've installed the installer on to our PC. What we're gonna have to do now is just extract this server here. So the ALVR server we're gonna extract here. You're gonna need to use WinRAR. I will put a link down in the description for that as well. And then click on that. What you will see is that on the desktop now, you'll see that installed on the desktop. So that's the main core of the installation uh, done there guys. So what you need to do now is you need to go to your quest and go to your library, click this box and navigate to unknown sources. You'll see ALVR, launch that and you'll get a screen that looks like this. Now head over to your PC and launch ALVR for the first time and complete the setup. You shouldn't have to do much here, but it will tell you if your computer is supported. You can click next till you get to the end and you should see your Quest 2 under the new client option.
you must then click on trust and when you do it it should launch steam vr on your headset and you should be within your steam home environment so that's the initial setup done guys you don't have to do all that once what I would do now is I would close everything on your PC and leave ALVR open on your Quest. So now open up your browser and navigate to a Roblox VR game and scroll until you see the play button. Okay, this button is used to launch a game. Don't click on that just yet. Now this part might take a couple of attempts to get right. What you must do is launch alvr from your desktop and then launch a vr roblox game just after it so if you look on screen you can see as i do it here you can, if you look on the screen you can watch me doing it here if you don't do it right it will launch also remember you have to do this roblox every time you wanted to play and you won't roblox be able to in vr but assuming you have followed this tutorial correctly, you can now play Roblox VR without wires and without paying for virtual desktop. Once again, lads, you might experience some form of lag, you might experience some issues. That's why I would recommend the virtual desktop version. However, was this helpful? Are you glad you are now able to play Roblox VR without paying for virtual desktop? If so, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. That's it for today's video. I'm VR Lad and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.